Uh, this is the second rule of exponents. Uh, when do we subtract exponents? And so when you subtract exponents is when you divide and you have the same base. Here we go. So if we had, say, x cubed divided by x squared, or maybe we don't necessarily want to do uh, variables. Maybe we had uh, 5 to the 4th divided by 5 squared. Okay. First off, if you don't know anything about the rules of exponents, um, you could just, again, use the fact that 5 to the 4th is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. And 5 squared is 5 times 5. And so what you can do with that, then, is we know that 5 divided by 5 is 1. And 5 divided by 5 is 1. So you're left with two 5s, or 5 squared. In this case, we have x times x times x for x to the third, divided by x times x for x squared. And again, x divided by x is 1. x divided by x is 1. And so you're left with just x to the first power if you wanted to do that. So if you can kind of, you can probably kind of see what's going on here. Let's say we had 3 to the fifth power over 3 to the second power. Okay, well, 3 to the fifth is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 5 threes. 3 squared is just 3 times 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So you're left with 3 to the third power. Uh, and uh, so what's happening there is if you have anything, so say we have x to the nth power over x to the nth power, um, that the rule for this is simply m minus n. And you can see that up here, you know, 5 minus 2, this is 3 to the 5 minus 2 power, which is 3 to the third power. Um, working back up, this is x to the 3 minus 2 power, which is x to the first power. And here, uh, this is 5 to the 4 minus 2 power, which is 5 squared. So we, so in our, in this case, we're subtracting our exponents, as long as our bases are the same. So maybe let's do something a little more difficult. Let's say you had uh, um, 5x to the, say, 5th times y to the 3rd, uh, and we'll go one more, z to the 4th over 15xy squared, z to the third, okay? So to simplify this, well, first off, um, 5 and 15 would be 1 and uh, 3. So we know so far we have 1 third remaining. Uh, 5, this one's uh, x to the first, so we got x to the fifth and x to the first, which would be x to the fourth power. Uh, this one's y cubed minus uh, y cubed divided by y squared. 3 minus 2 is y to the first power. And the final one would be z to the first power. So we've got 1 third, x to the fourth, y to the first, z to the first. And you could have done that again by expanding it out. You don't necessarily have to memorize the rule. So there's 5x's, 3y's. Uh, Four z's. There's uh, one x, two y's, and three z's. And it, again, you could have divided z divided by z is one. Z divided by z is one. Z divided by z is one. So you're left with z to the first power, which we had. Y's cancel. Y y y y. And then your x's cancel, and so you're left with x to the fourth. So there you go. That's the second rule of exponents, and uh, two ways to kind of look at that. But essentially, when you um, divide exponents, you subtract. Uh, when you divide by the same base on your exponents, you subtract. The other thing 
that complicates it. And we're going to get into this in the next, in a couple less uh, videos later. But what happens if you have something like this? Maybe y to the fifth over y to the seventh. Okay. Well, if you use the rule, now we've got y to the negative second power. Or maybe I should show my work. Sorry, just jumping in. You do this so many years and it comes becomes automatic. So y to the 5 minus 7, well, 5 minus 7 is negative 2. So how do we deal with a negative exponent? Now, so I hope this helps, and uh, we'll look at these negative exponents as well. Uh, one last thing I guess I should show is um, you've got y to the 5th would be y, 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 y. So there's 5 y's over 7 y's. And so you could think of it this way, where these cross, these cross, these cross, these cross, and these cross. So you could also write this as 1 over y squared is the same as y to the negative 2. And we'll talk about that. That's the fifth rule we'll talk about. So we'll go ahead and keep watching these, and uh, by the end you'll know everything you need to know about exponents. So thank you, and see you next time.